June 9, 2012, the Justice Under Chief. We're here with Evelyn Green. How are you doing today, Evelyn? Uh, not too bad, Andre. Uh, we just came from Ambulance to Brunswick trying to peacefully serve some documents. They're not cooperating whatsoever. Yes. Uh, I could hear the girl in the background say, I've called the police. That's the only uh, four words that you ever hear there. Yes. And uh, so they're kind of like vigilantes. Okay? Yes. Some yes. of are vigilantes. They want you to get beaten up because uh, that's their style. Yes. Okay? And they work with the police or otherwise the police wouldn't go there and do what they did. Yes. You know, it's uh, corruption, white collar corruption. And you do not have to be overly intelligent to figure that out. Yes. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's just so obviously there. And uh, we're here this morning to serve uh, uh, Mr. Kevin Sims, who used to be the head of the licensed practical nurses in Fredericton. Yes. And they didn't do a proper investigation. It was just pathetic. Yes. And his lawyer, Mr. Theralt, works here in this office. So I'm serving the lawyer this morning, which is what Mr. Sims told me to do. Yes. And what's great and, with and Sir... I want to be peaceful. I do not want to... I don't want to come and irritate anyone. I just want to do the service. What's great about serving a law office is all one has to do is leave it with the uh, secretary. Yes. One does not have to actually serve the, the lawyer Mr. personally. Kelman and Sasha Morissette, who represent Ambulance for Brunswick, they won't commit whether they're accepting the documents. Yes. And the time is getting to the point where it'll be too late. Yes. Okay? So I may have to get uh, service done while I'm away by someone who will be more um, apt to, uh, you know, know know the what to go to their homes yes. or catch them someplace else and serve them yes because you know? they're evading service yes yes okay, okay all right then. shall Thank we you. go in Just print your name and 
so I can do my affidavit of service. Because sometimes when I go back home, if the names are written out, I can't. Thank you. <laughs> Would it be possible to call in Fred McKelman's office, Stuart McKelvey, while I'm here? Because we went to ambulance to Brunswick to serve documents, and they're just not cooperating. And Mr. McKelvey's office represents ambulance to Brunswick as does Stuart McKelvey. And if I can't serve, you know, that they you go up there and they just say, well, we're going to call the police, you know. That's terrible. I have a heart defibrillator. I do not want to get into a verbal argument, much less a physical consultation. Mm -hmm. So could we call Mr. I would call to talk to you because I know nothing about the file. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't work in the so okay. I would probably like to Sure. Because we have to uh, be able to, you know, serve these. And my daughter's getting married. I'm going out of the country for a couple of days, and I need to get the document served or, you know. It's awful when people say, well, you're harassing us when we're trying our best to do it co cohesively. You're wanting to remember why? Yes, I feel like that. Linda Brown? Sure. Lisa, could I call a certain Kelly's law firm? I have to let them know the ambulance to Brunswick did not accept the documents. Nobody there. And he represents them. So I just need to do you have a phone here for people to uh, I don't know if there's All right, so the service has been effective. Thank you, ladies. Have a great day. Have a great day. Nobody will love to use their phone. Yes, yeah, so that's, what did you say, Thibodeau? Zero. Zero law. Zero. Uh, T.J. Burke was the guy that got over 250 grand for representing T.J. Burke on a summary charge. Yes. Where I couldn't even get legal aid. Yes. Because the church was the summary church. Yes. And then they wouldn't believe the camera evidence. And I'm trying to find out who analyzed the camera evidence that was provided by the blogger. Yes. And to me, everybody I've ever spoken to believes that T.J. Burke was badly uh, kneed in the back. Yes. He's got terrible physical uh, problems, and this should be outrageous to the city of Fredericton. Yes. You know. All right. Any final thoughts on service? Well, they at least uh, accepted, which most law firms will do. Yes. But Stuart McKelvey is playing hardball. Yes. I've been there three times now. Yes. And uh, Mr. McKelvey is just, I haven't got instructions yet, he says. Yes. So he is trying to frustrate and, um, you know, he knows that it would be better. Sasha Morris that wrote me a letter, a memo quite a long time ago saying that Fred, that uh, Sir McKelvey in Fredericton will accept all documents for Ambulance New Brunswick and for Meta V Inc. and everything. Yes. And now Mr. McCollum, I can't. Uh, Sasha Morris that will not get back to me. Okay. And I called the AG's office through Nancy Forrest and she said because it's a Crown Corporation and you have to serve the documents directly to the Crown Corporation. Yes. That the AG's office can't get involved. Yes. Well, I think it's time now the AG get involved because their people under them are not doing the jobs properly. Yes. In fact, it's stated that a lawyer for any Crown Corporation can accept service. Yes. So what is Stuart McKelvey uh, and Fred McKelman do? 
We should go and find out. All right, thank you. That's a good closing line. Thank you.